Alright, we got us a 5R55E, but this is the same. The 4R44, 4R55, and the 5R55E are basically the same transmission. The 4R44 uses less clutches. The 5R and the 4R55 are the same transmission, it's just a different computer strategy. So it doesn't matter. The kit and everything's all the same. The only thing different is the stall of the converter and amount of clutches and the computer strategy. So we have three quarters on our band struts. Seventeens on the tail housing. Now these studs can be in different places. I've seen only one. I've seen two. So just put them back wherever they were. Usually there's nothing even attached to them, so it doesn't really matter. So our park actuator, our spring, and our pivot pin. 30 torques on the two speed sensors. That may break. You get some penetrating oil on it. See what that does for it. Come back to that. Get our servos out. There's a little notch right here in the case. You can get behind the snap ring there and pry it out. Your servo covers here are going to tell you which servo you have. The ZC is the biggest one. The AB is the next biggest. BB, CB, DB, and FB I think is what they got. Personally I wouldn't use anything under a BB. If you got something smaller than that, change the servo cover and the servo. The 5R55s usually have the ZC up here. The 4R55s and 4R44s usually have an AB and a BB. You can use any of them. It's more, more holding power and then the levers in there give you more holding power. So that's what that is about. Speed sensor out if it'll come out. All right, we can tell already we got a bad pump because our bushing's coming out. 17 millimeters on the pump. Kind of hard to stay out of the ca camera's way. The early units wouldn't have this bearing here, and they wouldn't have this style of ceiling rings. Pump washer, 40 torques on the pump. And sometimes these things are really in there, so you may need to use an impact driver. 
They didn't want to break loose. I'm going to get you something like that. Put your socket on it. Smack it with the hammer while you're turning. And it'll break them loose. Pump gears look okay. The pump actually looks okay. I might buy a bushing for it and see if it'll hold the bushing. If it will, we'll go with that. If it won't, and uh, we're going to have to replace it. Overdrive band. Even if this band looks good, replace it. They always break. Our band struts. Our overdrive sprag is bad because there's a oil slinger for it. It may still be holding, but it needs to be replaced. You want to be very careful that you don't bend this ring right here. A lot of times there's brass washers underneath here and uh, that one's gone. Most of the time it's missing at least one or two and it gets wrapped up inside here. And look there's a piece of it right there. We can just dig that out and this ring gear will still be okay. Planet is toast. So, thirty torques on this speed sensor in here. Yeah, let's see if this one will come out now. Thirteen millimeters on the paint. Ten millimeter on the filter. Go ahead and unplug our harness. If you get one of these that there's been water in the unit, you're going to want to go ahead and replace this wiring harness. As I've seen them where they look just fine. And once you clean the case up, the insulation starts falling off all the wires. So, I've seen it more than once, too. Just go ahead and replace it.
pay close attention to this bracket right here. I'm going to make sure that your solenoid is not coming out. It's real early models this would crack and let that uh, uh, solenoid come out. But they can also wear out. I'm going to make sure that the solenoid is nice and tight and not just flopping around in there. The 95 and 96 models use a green solenoid from uh, 97 up. It uses a, a red solenoid. And you don't want to screw that up. You will keep eating forward clutches and <coughs> never get rid of the damn thing. servo that speed sensor that's inside there plugs in right here I'm gonna go ahead and unplug that pull that out there's a five millimeter and bolt down inside there. Some of the later ones are are 30 Torx. <coughs> Go ahead and pull that nut off the center port. If you leave it in there, odds are this little nut's going to come flying out of there. Either the whole thing will fly out or the nut will fly out of the keeper and you'll lose it. So, bracket or band struts. You know, look on here, there's different letters on here. A is the strongest. Uh, I think it goes down to C. May even, you know, may even go down to E, I think, on the rare early units, but don't use anything below a B as far as I'm concerned. Center support snap ring. You want to try to pull your center support out as straight as you can. These bearings often come apart as long as they don't have any pits in them you can reuse them. Don't worry about the fact that it came apart. Turn this bearing right here. If it's really stiff to turn, odds are this is cracked. Look in here real close. These have a tendency to crack. forward ring gear. Grab this and turn it. Make sure it's not stripping out. Another bearing inside here. This one's the same way. I've never seen one of these crack but you want to make sure it's not hard to turn. Same way with this band. Even if it looks good, replace it. Our other band apply. It's an A also, so we're good there. These fit awfully loose. There's supposed to be a washer behind here. I've never seen one on one. I don't worry too much about it, but they do fit loose like that. And there are no bushings in them. Make sure our pinions are okay. There's different Pin, tooth counts uh, or pinion counts as far as uh, how heavy a model it is the 455s are only going to be like a four pinion and there's a snap ring that goes on your rear planet Just pop it off
vehicle are planted out it's the same way depending on what what it is in is how many pinions it has you can swap all that stuff out if you want to beef one up about that bearing right now. And I've seen a lot of people, they leave this out. I know i got a buddy of mine that does it, leaves it out on everyone. I always put that slinger back in. It oils up that, that rear planet. You need a pair of snap ring pliers like that. And there's a snap ring that's holding everything on the output shaft. And hopefully, it's not been put in upside down. Alright, there we go. Let's see. Nope, it wouldn't put in upside down. Right, you want to make sure that your band drum that's in the back turns one way and clocks uh, locks the other way. And be very careful of this bearing right here; it'll come apart hey, on you. Tom, by any chance, you didn't order like a pilot bearing for a BMW, did you? No, well, why would I? I have no idea. I'm just making sure before they find it. That's our bearing. These bands break also right along in here, but they're not near as bad as these other bands. You want to make sure that your race that's in the case is nice and firm and not moving around on you. You want to be careful, you don't mess this up. You got to wash it from the back. Alright, now, sometimes it's not easy to get that front servo out. Once you get all that out, you can get a screwdriver and push on it and it'll come out. Make sure your rubber's not coming apart and it's nice and soft. If you want to take this wiring harness out, I always just leave it in. There's a clip right here, and then you have to get in from the back side. There's a tab back here. You got to pull that in and push it out. These clutches are directional. You look on here, you see how they're they're facing this way. Your the way I remember how they go is the forwards left, the rest right. So these all want to be the directs and the overdrives want to be facing to the right. Somebody put the forwards in ups. Uh, let's see. Now they got them in right. I'm looking at it upside down. So the forwards are going to the left. This is our cushion for the forward. Uh, the air rail early ones. Let's see if the, I think they already. Now they got rid of that by the time. Uh, A4LDs, this was uh, selective. There was a thin one and a thick one. Uh, it's all the same for these. Here's our 
focus and make sure your spines are okay. I've never seen one stripped out, but you never know. Yeah, I've seen different spring setups. Usually your directs have all of them in there, but I've seen on your overdrives different setups and it doesn't seem to really matter. You can have um, three and skip one and do that all the way around or I've seen them just missing two, one on each side. It's just uh, if you end up losing one you can make up your own spring configuration as long as you keep it equal. You can see this one has them all in there. Alright, let me go write this one up. And uh, we'll be back. Alright, this is what we're going to do on this one. LS kit, filter. And try the bushing in the stator. If not, we're going to buy a stator. Pump bushing, overdrive band, overdrive planet, intermediate band. Overdrive and the intermediate band are the same. I just separate them so that it's easier for him when he writes up his parts and sells it. Uh, overdrive sprag. And then the only two, uh, only three I can make out on the torque converter was a 2AC. There should be another letter. Uh, I couldn't. It was burnt too bad. I couldn't tell what it was. So hopefully that's good enough for the converter company. If not, then go off the fin angle and the year make a model.